What's the one thing connecting every popular fighting game on the planet? Between Smash Bros, Marvel vs. Capcom, and NetherRealm's insane guest characters, they all have insane batshit rosters. Now, what if I told you there is a fighting game that dwarfed all of these rosters combined? That game exists, that game is Mugen, and Mugen is the truth. When it comes to fighting games or games in general, I've always loved the ones that gave me as much freedom as possible. This is why I like the gameplay of the MVC series or the Smash series so much. I feel like I have so much freedom with my movement, how I pressure the enemy, or combo. This game takes that idea and turns it up to a fucking thousand. Here, we have a game that's fully customizable. You can add as many character slots as you want, whatever characters you can find, change the menu to make it look how you want it to, add stages and pick the music that goes on them, or just stick with the preset music. This game has an infinite amount of possibilities because new characters and stages and music and everything are created and released in forums every day. This means that finally we have a game where all of our dream matchups are possible. Ever want to see Goku or Vegeta fight Superman? Want to see how Batman would fare against Captain America? You can finally have Robbie Rotten fight against Waluigi or Ronald McDonald fight against the Clown Prince of Crime. This game can be absolutely absurd or a grounded, fun fighting game. It depends on what you want. Eventually, I'm planning on creating a version that's a three-way between Capcom, Marvel, and DC Comics in my dream game. Capcom presents Marvel Comics and also DC Comics. Marvel vs. Capcom vs. DC, all with fun-to-play characters that don't break the game too much. Although you could always go the route of having the most insane and hilarious to watch fighting game of all time, which is what my current build looks like. It's become a tradition to fire up Mugen whenever I go to my best friend's house. We've become so addicted to watching this insane batshit video game and random characters fight in the craziest matches of a fighting game we've never seen before. The AI battles in this game actually blow anything you'd see in a high level tournament out of the fucking water and that's saying a lot. Mugen isn't just fun to watch either, believe it or not. As I said earlier, I want to create a more balanced build that behaves like a proper fighting game. Because Mugen finally gives you your chance to build a perfect fighting game or your dream fighting game. Whether you want Capcom vs SNK, you want MK vs Street Fighter, or you want to add DC characters to MVC like I do, it's all possible. A lot of people who make characters for the game really take their time and put an incredible amount of effort into whoever they're working on. It leads to a lot of downloadable characters being fun, interesting, and unique. I've actually sunk quite a few hours into just the training mode for this game so I could figure out some characters I like. My personal favorites right now are Red Hood and Mr. Fantastic. They're fun and simple, I found some loops with them so I can just jump back into playing them after a long break with Mugen. See, this game just has so much going for it. Any computer that's come out since the late 2000s can run it with ease, and there's something for everyone, whether you want to play the game like an actual fighting game, or you're more casual. Infamously, fighting games are one of the most intimidating genres to get into for casuals, and most of them have a high barrier for fun. There's a reason why games like Mario Kart remain king for casual players, it doesn't take much to press the gas button and steer. Fighting games are different. To do anything even remotely cool, you need to know the inputs and have basic fundamentals so in a match you can land the remotely cool thing in the first place. Enter Mugen, where it's more fun just to watch the game with friends, do random battles and take bets on which random character is going to take the win. Loser could take a swig of hot sauce, take a slap from the winner, or take a shot if you're old enough to drink responsibly and legally. In recent years, this game has started to be forgotten about in the public sphere, and understandably so. Even though it's the best fighting game ever made, more and more games are coming out, and if your game doesn't have many content creators on YouTube or Twitch, it's not going to do too well. 
Luckily, the Salty Bet stream is still kicking, and fighting game YouTubers like Maximilian still occasionally give this game its time in the sun. Which is partially why I wanted to make this video in the first place. I had two objectives with this video. Number one, I wanted to introduce a game that I adore to my subscribers before posting the more insane content I have planned for it. And number two, on the off chance this video does do really well, I wanted to introduce more people to this game. The more people that know about it, the more content gets made for it, and the more attractive it is to even more people. Mugen can thrive forever, but only as long as people play it. So, if anything I said in this video interested you, give it a go! I'll be linking my build of the game in the description with around 300 characters out of the possible 700 slots I have, so you can have a pretty solid start with the game. If you want to build your game from scratch, I'll be posting the best tutorials in the description to do just that. If you already love Mugen and you want to know how you can help more people love Mugen, the best thing you can do is just share this video where there's going to be really funny gameplay and interesting gameplay in the background and I'm talking about what this game has to offer and hopefully this video will help change their mind. The most important thing to support this game right now is just to share it and tell people about it and that includes this video or make a video of your own. With all of that said, this has been Nosy Boy. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content around Mugen and other character-based games. I'm huge on Smash Brothers right now. I'm really liking Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. I've always been big on Smite and just character-based games in general, as I said. Eventually, I want to make mods for them, and maybe I'll try to make my own Mugen character. Who knows? Also, check the Discord in the description, I plan on having CPU tournaments for Mugen soon, and you'll be able to participate in a Mugen Fantasy League, but only if you're part of my Discord. So check the top link in the description to get in on that action. With all of that said, once again this has been Nosy Boy, and I'll smell you guys later.